ladies, gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, ladies and gents, the software that I use to record videos is called Z as in Zebra, D as in David, Soft, ZD Soft. They're located at ZDSoft.com. They just updated their software. I kind of like the new look. I'm so used to the old look, but the new look a little bit better. Uh, Got to work on the audio like I've always had to do with every video, blah, 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 recording software I've had. We need to talk real quick. I want to tell you that I'm grateful. I'll say it again, that I serve the God whose name is Jehovah. I know, I know, I know. All praises do to all. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me, yeah, that was a huge joke. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, he allows me to be me. He allows me to be a genius. I'm not a genius of my own right. I'm a genius because he allows it. I shouldn't know any of this stuff. Let me tell you what we're going to do. I will be producing a document over the next three days for you guys. That's right, for you guys, for the $400 billion lawsuit. Lord have mercy. You have no idea how perfect what's about to happen is. See, we put in for <laughs> a default petition, and the clerks ignored it. So we put in for a petition for default judgment before the judge. They have not responded. Neither have the parties. Now, here's the point. The parties have not responded. They had a certain amount of time to respond. They were served properly. Here's the point. I want you all to pay attention. By their refusal and or failure to respond within the time frame allotted by law when someone petitions for default or default judgment, they waive their right to respond. Ta-da! No, they did have to respond, but the attorneys are going to, well, we responded to be like we're responding to the petition, so we can't respond. And that's too bad. That's on them, not on me. Should not have allowed yourselves to receive electronic signature confirmation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you file a claim against an official's bond, pay attention, that's one strike. If another person files a claim against an official's bond, that's two strikes. But if a third person files a claim against the same official's bond, they're out of there. They can no longer be a public official ever again. They cannot be bonded. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to put together a document where each of you who are part of the $400 billion lawsuit is going to announce yourselves as a party of interest. You're going to attach the copy of the document that we had you sign notifying the court that you are a party of interest, and we're going to file that with the court. Now, you're going to say, well, they've been ignoring us all this time. No, 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 no. I ain't finished yet. Don't be jumping the gun and jumping over hurdles and everything. We got the hurdles already taken care of. We're about to flatten them hurdles. You want to hear how we're going to do it? Sure. Okay, well, here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, the attorney general is a party to the suit. He represents the United States uh, what well, is called the government of the United States. That's the official title of the corporation. The government of the United States. Dun and Bradstreet helped me with that one. Ladies and gentlemen, there is this executive order. Corey and Mr. A told me about executive order 13844. 13844. Go look at that executive order on that task force that deals with consumer fraud. It's a task force, ladies and gentlemen. They do exist. And it's with the Attorney General's office, but the only problem is the Attorney General's a party to the suit, and they're in default. So they cannot do our complaint. Oh, when we, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, when you do your complaint against the bond, you're going to send it to the judge, you're going to send it to the presiding judge of the court, you're going to send it to the administrative office of the court, and you're going to send it to the administrative office of the United States courts if it's a federal district court. You're going to send also a copy of the 95 form, the GSA SF 95 form, the claim form. And you're going to send that to all of those parties at one time. Each one of them gets their own packet. It's okay. This is $400 billion. You better send that to all of them. You can send it regular mail. Just ask for metered mail receipt. But you can send it regular mail. Ladies and gentlemen. 
once you send it to all of those parties and you send it to the attorney general, there's going to be a letter letting the attorney general know about his conflict of interest and how he can't hear it and how they must assign it to someone else. Cha-ching, ta-da. Now, we've documented the record. doesn't matter. And like I said, if they dismiss it or whatever, just go ahead and think about the amount of claims that are going to be filed against this one judicial official for blocking our access to the court. Okay, just want to keep y'all apprised of what's going on. Hey, two to three days it'll take me to do it because I have to do this. Chat GPT ain't writing this one. Gotta go. Y'all take care, all right? Arriva.